from the following capital structure of A limited, all right, this should have been capital A, A limited, calculate weighted average cost of capital based on book value weights. They've given us the source of capital, book value, and after tax cost of different sources. This is a very simple sum and uh, it could be done much faster on Microsoft Excel. But since you all are going to be handwriting your papers, I'm going to be doing it along with you all. We need to make a table similar to what we have over here, but I need an extra column on the right hand side of book value. All right. So again, using spreadsheet is easier, but I am with you. So here we are. We have source book value, book value, okay, which yes is in terms of rupees. Then we have proportion and I think I'm going to run out of space. So it's what I'm going to do. Book value in terms of rupees. Okay, then we have proportion. We have after tax cost cost of capital okay and then we have weighted weighted cost okay so a lot of the answer is going to involve simply copying what is in the question on it and uh, I'm going to quickly finish this and get back to you all okay I'm simply going to copy paste I am simply going to copy paste source everything from here book value goes here after tax cost goes here all right okay uh, y'all will use full forms when y'all answer please bear with my terrible handwriting okay we have total total and i need to add up everything that is here okay so 60 plus 20 gives me 80 plus 10 is going to give me 90 plus 30 is equal to 1 like 20 and for those of you who are weak in maths, and I can often be wrong, for everybody's satisfaction, I'm going to do this once. Okay, so we are talking about 60,000 plus 20,000 plus 10,000 plus 30,000. Yes, we are right, 1 at 20,000. Now, if we want to calculate proportion, how do we do it? It's going to be all of these individual numbers, 60, 20, 10, 30, all of them divided by 1, 20,000. And I'll tell you what, don't bother, don't bother multiplying into 100. Even if you get it in decimal, it is more than enough. Okay, so when you do 60,000 upon 120,000, 60,000 upon 120,000, and just do equal to, you get 0. 0.5. If you do 20,000 upon 120,000, like it or not, you're going to get a non-terminating decimal. And when it comes to non-terminating decimals, the longer you have it, the more correct your answer is going to be. So at the expense of being very annoying, I'm going to say we're going to do it up to four decimal places. Okay, so 0 0.166. Okay, this is one, two, three, and this guy is going to be seven. So 0 0.1667. All right, so uh, equity share capital anyway, we got ourselves 0 0.5 no tension this is 0 0.166 even if you put an extra six by mistake it is fine there's no problem okay and then seven uh we have preference share capital 10,000 upon 10,000 upon 120,000 in 200 and again we're going to have another issue okay but and again do not go into 200 so one more time uh 10,000 upon 120,000. So we have got 0 0.0833333 non terminating. And once again, we take it up to two decimal places 0 0.0833. 30,000 upon 120,000 for those of you who are good in math is 0 0.25, but let's do it. Okay, uh, 30,000 upon 120,000 <coughs> gives me 0 0.25. Now that I have this, okay, if I was to add up all of these, of course, we have decimal places, so that's going to be an issue. <coughs> but otherwise, if you were to add up, if you were to add up all of these, you get a value of one. And that's 
how you know you're right. So I'll leave that up to you. Either you're going to get one or something very close to one. Now, multiply, multiply the proportion into after tax cost. So 0.5 into 15%. And the thing is, it's already percent. So if you take 0.5 and multiply it into 15 percent, you're going to unnecessarily go into decimal. What I would suggest is that you ignore the percent sign. The weighted average cost of capital answer is normally in percent. Okay, once we reach percent to convert percent into decimal and back and forth, we can do. But for now, let's not unnecessarily complicate it by moving from decimal into percent and then going back into decimal. Right, so we have 0.5 into 15 and that gives me 7.5 which I'm going to write down 7 7.5 okay similarly I have 0.1666 and remember you can't go wrong here you can go all the way <laughs> okay into 15 okay and if you notice right please don't go all the way there and write that last five it is meant to be simply 2.5 okay and if i had to do this calculation from scratch it's as good as doing 15 into 20000 upon 120000 15 into 20000 upon 120000 will give me exactly 2.5 all right so that is the number we want here 2.5 this time around, it's going to be fairly straightforward for those of you who know basic mathematics. If you're multiplying anything into 10, the decimal is going to shift one step to the right. All right? Remember, we're ignoring percentages. Anyway, we have 0 0.0833 and this goes on forever and it really doesn't matter. And I'm multiplying this into 10, so I get 0 0.8333. Okay, up to two decimal places. So 0 0.8333. And now uh, two decimal places is more than enough. So no need for that. Okay, 0 0.83 should do. See, the more the decimal places, the more correct your answer is going to be, but the more messy it's going to look. So uh, you can say... Uh, trade-off. Anyway, uh, we have 8, which we'll multiply into 0.25, which gives us 2. Now remember, all of these numbers, all of these numbers, because we've ignored percent, it is percent. Okay, and now we add them up, and whatever we get as our total is going to be our WACC. Okay, so our WACC is equal to what we get here. Right, so very quickly, we have, okay, we have 7.5 plus 2.5 plus 0.83 plus 2. And therefore, our answer is 12.83%. 12.83%. And remember, this is percent. So just in case the examiner wants to see this in decimal as well, you can just write Therefore, weighted average cost of capital is 12.83% 12 12 or 0 0.1283. And how am I getting that? To convert anything that is in percent into decimal, we divide by 100. Okay. If you all have doubts in what has just happened, feel free to message in the comment section. If you have understood, I request you to please like and subscribe to my channel and also share this with your friends. Thank you so much.